Hey there, my name is John Siskovich. I'm the founder and creative director here at Farm Marketing Solutions. I'm also a chicken farmer here in Western Connecticut. Uh, I have a farm brewery. We raise a variety of things, and one of the things I focus on is chickens, pastured poultry. So I got a question because I'm answering questions on today's episode uh, from Matt Dalgetty. Uh, Dalgetty? Dalgetty, I think that's right. Uh, sorry, Matt. Dude, I just apologize. Um, hi, I watched your, uh, your video on broiler chickens. The farm I work on doesn't reach a good profit from pasturing broilers. I was wondering how you sell and market chicken for $6 a pound. Whole Foods is roughly $5 a pound. We sell for $4.25 a pound, uh, but are in a pretty rural area. The average US price for a conventional chicken is about $1.50 per pound. Thanks so much, the farm looks awesome, Matt. Um, so Matt, uh, I have a lot to say here as I normally do, especially when it comes to finances and chicken. How I reach $6 a pound, I feed organic non-GMO grain and I'm pasture raised and I have great marketing. And in my area, I specifically chose my area because it's an hour and a half from New York City. Uh, I'm still fairly rural. Um, but I have great socioeconomic spectrum in my area where there's a bunch of money and people with money to spend and then there's the transitioning into people with less money but they have the values and they see the value in what i'm doing where they may not buy as many chickens per year um, they buy a couple chickens a year as they see that where they can fit it into their family budget because they see the benefits of pasture raised and part of that uh, them seeing the benefits has been the marketing that i've done so if you're not getting, if you don't have a really profitable broiler operation, there's also a lot of things to pick apart in terms of your management, uh, where you're getting your feed and how you're feeding out and how you're managing all of the things that's that all the inputs that go into a chicken uh, to make it grow. Um, but when it comes down to pricing, I landed on the pricing because I knew uh, roughly what my costs were going to be in the beginning. I did my market research to see where Whole Foods was at in my area, which in my area, it goes from six to $8 a pound, uh, depending on what you're getting and what tier of Whole Foods food you're, you're eating. Um, so my Whole Foods is a little more expensive. The organic in the store uh, in my area, I forget what it is now, um, but I went a little bit higher than everybody else because I was adding a lot more value than the store-bought chicken. And then I would market the fact that Yes, chicken in the store is this much. I don't want to meet that cost because I can't because I'm bringing a lot more value. And I found the customers who were looking for organic grass-fed non-GMO chicken. And that's what fit me in my market. And that's how I get $6 a pound. People can see the value that I put into the chicken through sharing pictures, through sharing stories, through sharing uh, all the information about the farm and creating relationships with my customers where they know my heart and soul is in my chickens and uh, I'm gonna do the best for them that I can so that because I care about the families that I feed with the food that I produce. And with them knowing that I care about them, them knowing I care about the chickens and the ground that the chickens are on, it, they, I build in the value and that's how I've been able to build that market uh, for selling chickens for $6 a pound. Now, that's a, it's a bigger topic to cover in like a four minute video. Shameless plug time. Uh, I created the pasture poultry packet number two. This is marketing grass fed chicken and eggs. In this book, which is 250 pages plus, uh, I go over all the strategies that I used throughout the years. Uh, I give specific case studies and examples of marketing campaigns that I've done. Uh, there's a lot of philosophy in there where having the right mindset makes all the difference in your marketing. And then the last 50 pages of that book are actually tear outs that you can photocopy or print if you buy the digital version uh, and hang up at your farmer's market stand, at your farm store, give to accounts when you're giving them chicken uh, for opening wholesale. Uh, because there's things that I've used at my farmer's markets, I've tested on my customers and I wanted to share with you guys to give you a leg up on your marketing. So that's enough for shameless plug time. We're gonna go on to what tomorrow's episode is all about. If you missed yesterday, we talked about reducing your feed cost, which building cost into your price and your profitability is a whole, they're all connected. I try to keep all these videos so that like they line up. Tomorrow we're going to a question from Eva Voss. Eva asked for a way, an efficient way to store a, sh a small amount of grain and uh, for her egg layer. She has 150 dual purpose hens in a mobile system that she's working on uh, and she needs to store about 2.5 cubic meters of grain. I've built a lot of my grain infrastructure and my infrastructure in general to be mobile 
uh, but be weather and rat proof. And we're gonna talk about that in tomorrow's video. Did I talk fast enough in this friggin' video? I hope you guys are enjoying the Ask Me Anything. If you want to submit your question, go to farmmarketingsolutions.com, go all the way to the bottom of the page, fill out the form, send it in. I will organize it into a week's worth of content. I will shoot it, I will give it to Paul. Paul will edit it, he will give it back to me. I will upload it, I will tag it, I will make a thumbnail for it. I will write a description and then I will publish it. And after all that time, you will get your question answered. But the glorious thing is, when one of you asks me a question, there's five more of you who either don't write in and ask me or who do write in and I get a lot of the same questions over and over again. So I prioritize those and that's how I create my videos. So that's it. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye.